I'm Jenny Ferguson, landscape architect with BDP, and I was involved in the design and delivery of West Gorton Community Park. We were commissioned by Manchester City Council um, as part of a European funded project which was the Grow Green Horizon 2020 project to look at how nature-based solutions can help combat climate change and to help manage stormwater runoff and reduce flooding in particular in urban areas such as this. The design concept at the onset was to try and balance the needs of the community of which there were quite great needs. This particular area of Manchester was quite deprived, the community cohesion was very poor, um, the actual area of green usable space was incredibly limiting and very dilapidated. There was a real challenge here to, to bring together a community that felt very disparate but also to incorporate these climate change interventions to, to really kind of educate people that this is the new way of, of living. We've worked quite closely with uh, the specialist engineers on this project here at Arup. The intent for that was to come up with um, a connected series of systems, if you will, to, to manage that flow of water. So we're taking rainwater from hard surface areas and we're channeling the water through a series of swales and rain gardens to catch that rain at source and take it through a series of uh, dished channels into planting areas um, and the idea behind that is that then the planting will act as a sponge and soak up that excess rainwater before it's then discharged into the active drainage system. The types of planting that we've got here have been specially selected to really boost that biodiversity value so using natural species uh, where possible but also then enriching them with a well-known nectar rich planting such as Rebecca, Echinacea, Verbena. Uh, they, they give a wonderful splash of, of colour throughout the summer but also loved by butterflies for example um, and bees. We've planted over a hundred new trees in this area and they'll be home to birds so hopefully this will now support the wider green infrastructure around the area. The beauty behind this particular project is that Un the University of Manchester are monitoring how successful these interventions have been, how much uh, rainwater is actually going into the active drainage system, um, how, how the trees have been successful in reducing that heat stress, for example. And what that does then is it gives, us that, gives us that evidence base for future regeneration or new projects when hopefully the evidence will show that green and blue infrastructure can really add value to spaces and, re and really help the environment in those positive ways. I think for me personally the thing that's been most successful is to see how the community have come together to use this. Just to see the delight on people's faces and the feedback that we've received and the thanks that we've received. This was a very well needed green space and I know it's going to be amazing in terms of addressing the climate change issues and that's a given, I'm pretty sure of it. But the added value that it's given for the community has just been overwhelming really. It's been wonderful to see how families are coming together and using this space.